welcome back okay so today I wanted to just sit down with you guys and do a full face of makeup so this might be a longer video hope that's okay so maybe you want to just grab your makeup sit down with me and apply it at the same time might be fun but yeah I decided I wanted to do a full face of Sephora brand makeup now I don't typically reach for my Sephora brand products don't know why not any particular reason I don't guess but um yeah I don't typically grab for my Sephora brand products but I felt like with the Sephora sales event going on you know a lot of people talk about all the other brands that they want and purchase from Sephora but maybe you're curious about some actual Sephora brands so let's just go ahead and jump right in I have a few palettes that I'm thinking about trying not sure which one I want to use yet so we can swatch and discuss when I get to that point point. and I think I'm gonna do my eyes first but I want to start out by moisturizing and kind of letting my moisturizer and primer set in my face so this is the Sephora all day hydrator it's a hydrate and glow moisturizer but it says you can also use this as a makeup primer so I'm gonna go ahead and do that today kind of like dual you know purpose so I'm going to use it to moisturize as well as prime so my face will already be nicely moisturized when it's time to apply my makeup so I'm just going to get this feels nice it doesn't have a scent to it and it claims to be like super hydrating so I'm going to assume that my skin should be nicely hydrated using this and I've already kind of cleaned up my brows so that's why I'm avoiding them. I already know that one of the things that I don't have is a Sephora brand eyeshadow primer and I'm like dang did I forget to grab one one day or do they not have one? I don't even know if they have an eyeshadow primer. They might but they might not so today I'm going to be using my Fenty eyeshadow primer so I hope that's okay but everything else I think I pretty much have from Sephora I have Sephora brushes makeup brushes as well but I use those in my travel bag so I don't really want to take those out so I am just going to be using a pish posh of brushes today so this feels really really nice my skin feels good, nice and hydrated. Like I said, it doesn't smell like anything, so good start. But now I'm going to go in with this Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. I've been using this for <laughs> quite a while now, for several months actually, because I'm trying to um, kind of finish up some of my older products and just kind of you know clear some things out so that when I do want to buy something new you know I'm not really feeling too bad about it because I'm actually using my older products up so I'm just using one of my old BH Cosmetics brushes I think this is um, from one of their brush sets it's just a thicker firmer um, brush just to make sure that that eyeshadow primer is evenly applied all over my lids. And like I said, I really like this eyeshadow primer. It's not too heavy. It's just tacky enough, you know, to grip onto the eyeshadow as you apply it. And it's easy to kind of spread out all over your lid, as you can see. So and it's not super white or bright it's you know almost transparent honestly you can barely see it so got that down so yeah these are the eyeshadow palettes that I'm thinking about trying they they have these destination palettes um and it's funny because it seems like they'll come out with different eyeshadow pal palettes and then they'll just disappear so I don't know but this one is gone west so this is the color story in here if you can see it it's really a lot of brown pop of you know aqua there it's crazy because these browns they all look 
the same to me. I feel like when I put them on my eyes, they're all going to be the same. So this palette actually isn't really all that appealing to me, but let me go ahead and swatch it anyway. So I'm going to try and look at my mirror here. But those are the three different browns, if you can see those. So they're really pretty, slightly different. <laughs> they, they are slightly different, but I just feel like when I put them on my eyes, they're all gonna look the same. And so let me go ahead and swatch these three shimmers here, which are very pretty. Um, let's see, I'll just swatch those here. So those are very pretty, as you can see, very, very pretty shimmers in mattes and then there's this one super light matte here which is great for brow bone and inner corner so that's actually a really pretty really pretty color story there this other one here is another destination palette and this one is called southern charm and this one has kind of like a purpley green vibe to it if you can see that there so this one looks like it has a little bit more variation very cool tone which i'm into right now so let me just swatch these a little further down oh those are pretty those are really pretty really pretty purple shades okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these shimmers see that my camera sometimes doesn't want to focus but those are really pretty so let me just swatch those here okay those are pretty let me see if I can get my camera to show it because a lot of times it what it doesn't want to focus it wants to just stay blurry if there's too much in the frame okay so there we go so those are the two palettes hmm I don't know, I didn't think I was going to want to do the uh, Gone West because of so much brown, but that teal is really kind of making me want to use it. Either one is really pretty. Now the other palette that I have I purchased quite a while ago, it's one of my Sephora Pro palettes. This one is Smoky Jewels. And I don't think they carry these super large Pro palettes anymore. I don't think they did that well. Not too many people liked them a lot. I liked it, <laughs> but I don't think they really did that well. Um, so they don't have them anymore. But as you can see, there's a lot more variation in colors in this palette. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Destination one. And if I want to pull anything darker, you know, like a black or something deeper for my crease or whatever then I will go ahead and do that from my Pro Pal. <laughs> I'll cheat a little bit, but not really because it's all Sephora products. So let me go ahead and clean off my arm and then we will get started. Okay, so from this Destinations palette, I think we're going to start with this brown shade here. And yeah, I don't see names or anything. So I'm gonna start with this brown shade here and just apply that in my crease with a nice big fluffy brush and just see how these shadows perform. I've never used these smaller destination palettes from Sephora before. Got these a while back wanting to try out Sephora products but never did so we can try them out together today. It's nicely pigmented. And it's blending pretty smooth, applying pretty smooth. It's not patchy or anything like that. Um, I really do, oh, and it's building up nicely too, if you can see that. But I really, really do like the um, Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer because it just works perfectly for me with any, any palette that I use. I've never had a problem with it at all and it's not something that I think maybe a lot of people really think about from Fenty Beauty is the eyeshadow primer but <laughs> it actually is really really nice really nice and it's lasted me quite a while so it doesn't take a whole lot either as you can see I just tapped some on my lid and blended it out so 
I just want to get that color nicely in my crease, nice and even. I don't want to take too long on this eye look since I do have a full face to do with you guys. And whenever I don't want to be too neat and too precise with my eyeshadow, I will do my eyes first because, you know, I can always clean up the outer and inner corners later with a wipe or concealer. So now that I have that brown applied, <laughs> I'm thinking that it's not really going to get much deeper, but I'm going to go into this brown here just to see if I can get it a little bit deeper in the inner and outer corners. I really want to try and stick to just this palette because, you know, if someone is interested in purchasing just this palette, even though I know a lot of people have black or deeper browns in their eyeshadows, you know, palettes or collections. Um, you know, you might just want to, or this might be, you know, the only palette that you have to work with or you want to take to travel with and you want to kind of see what it can do. But yeah, these browns are really just <laughs> blending into each other. I really don't see much of a difference with this brown on my skin tone. Maybe a lighter, more fair skin tone, you will actually see the difference. But for me, I'm not really seeing a difference in those browns at all. Okay, what I wanna do is I am gonna cheat a little bit. I'm going to take my Sephora Pro palette and I'm just going to dip into the black down here just a little bit so that I can deepen this up because child, I have to have some dimension on my eyes. I can't just have brown on brown on brown. I need a little bit, a little bit of a distinction, a little bit of dimension. Ooh, that black is, that black has clocked in, okay? The black has entered, <laughs> entered the chat. It said, oh, I heard you was looking for me. Here I go. Here I go. Mm -hmm, I was looking for you, but you're doing a little bit too much right now. Okay, I wasn't trying to do all that. So let me just blend this out just a little bit with that brown. And like I said, I'm not being super duper neat because I don't want to take too long on this eye look. I really want to kind of go straight through with this video. Now I said I wasn't going to really <laughs> do too much shopping during the Sephora sale and I'm trying not to but I keep looking on the website because that's all you know that you see right now video wise is the Sephora sale. You know did you shop the Sephora sale? Look at what you can get at the Sephora sale. <laughs> so, it's kind of like I'm really going back and forth, just putting stuff in my cart. I've only placed one order so far. And I had, um, I think a couple of like face palettes in there. I think I got one, the one from, um, one from NARS for sure. And then I think I tried the deepest one from Hourglass this year. They're, uh, holiday face palettes or whatever which is kind of scary for me because when I tell you I haven't had much luck with Hourglass in the past as far as you know really like liking their um, products and stuff you know for my skin tone at least I know you know I see some brown skin and darker women that you know they do it it looks really really nice but for some reason I'm just like mm. so I decided to go ahead and try it out again this year so I did order uh, one of the hourglass um, face palettes so we'll see I'll definitely try that out and let you guys know how it works for me you know but I think I'm going to need, yeah, I'm going to put down just a teeny tiny bit of 
glitter primer on my lid so that it doesn't do too much creasing. So I'm going in with some e.l.f. glitter primer. I don't know if Sephora has a glitter primer either, but <laughs> this is not necessarily something that everyone needs to use. I use it because my eyelids are very um, hooded and I have a really deep crease. You can see that really deep crease in my lid. And so, yeah, any type of shimmers or glitters on my lid, they tend to crease very easily without without me even trying they don't even have to try they just crease on their own no problem <laughs> so okay so now let's go ahead and go back into our main palette and grab that beautiful teal shade and we're just going to tap that in the center of this halo eye so yeah, I'm just going to use my finger right now and just tap that in the center. Making sure I get it down a nice, a good little amount. And it's nicely pigmented and pretty smooth. And I'm going to go back in with my brush and just kind of clean up the edges, but... I really want to make sure I get a nice amount on there. So this palette can make a very gorgeous simple eye look. I think if you know you have more fair skin tone you might see the variation in the browns um, on your eyelid a little bit better. Or maybe if you even if you use a white eyeshadow primer or something but for me they just look the same. It just looked the same so yeah and you don't have to put as much shimmer on your lid as I am I just really like to see my shadow so now I'm just going in with that brush and just tapping those edges and I'm just gently going across the top just to blend that a little bit very simple very basic but I think once I get the lashes, do the rest of my face and hit it with a nice inner corner pop, it's going to look good. So I think right now I'm just going to clean up the edges so we can move on to the face. So I'm just taking a wipe and just gently kind of creating a little line right there with the wipe. Making sure I don't have any shimmer underneath my eye, which I don't. And then clean up this side as well. Try to get them as even as possible. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the face before we finish up the eyes. Okay, so since we've already moisturized our face, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation. Usually, I would go in with... Um, a concealer to kind of like clear up my dark circles which you can see I have very dark circles and I have a lot of hyperpigmentation around my mouth and everything like that but since I'm using Sephora products only I'm just going to go in with my foundation because the um, concealer I would usually spot conceal with is this Catrice True Skin Concealer and I would just take care of these dark circles and all this hyperpigmentation and stuff but we are going to truly be able to see what this foundation can do because <laughs> I'm not going to spot conceal right now. So this is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. I have the shade 50N. So this is what it looks like and I'm just going to uh, do a few pumps. I did three pumps because I know you know I got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to cover up right now and I'm just using a damp sponge. This is one of my pawpaw sponges. Okay. So I'm not sure if I've used this foundation before. I'm pretty sure I have though. But maybe only once. So the proof is about to be in the pudding, honey. <clears throat> And 
ever since the weather has changed or started getting cooler, I feel like my skin is like a lot more dry. You know, I kind of feel like I constantly have the sniffles. I had to start taking my um, allergy pills, <laughs> little allergy pills again, just to kind of keep me from sneezing all day. But it's crazy how the weather does certain things to the body, right? Uh, it's looking pretty decent. Yeah looking pretty decent it says it's full coverage so and I'm using a sponge I don't typically use a brush when I put my foundation on just because I like the way that a sponge feels I like how it kind of shears out you know the foundation and it's not like I'm just applying a thick coat of paint to my <laughs> face you know so I really do like how the beauty blenders and sponges feel. I just use a little inexpensive pawpaw sponges that you can get from Shop Miss A. And they work just fine. So far I'm really liking this foundation. I feel like it looks good. I feel like it's a good match for me. This color. And it's not feeling too heavy or anything. And I feel like once I get my concealer down, that I'm probably going to be comfortable with um, the coverage. My face is pretty hairy. I haven't shaved my sideburns or anything, so just ignore that. <laughs> Ignore the extra hair. Okay, so, so far, so good. So the concealer that I have is this Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. So I guess it's the same um, line as the foundation. And I think it's just slightly lighter for me, yeah. So I can kind of brighten up those areas that I like to kind of highlight a little bit on my face and I'm going to use the other side of the sponge the one that doesn't have all of the foundation all over it and just kind of blend that out And I'm pretty, it's really, I'm pretty picky when it comes to my concealer under my eyes because my dark circles are so bad. And it's really only one concealer that <laughs> I love to death. And, you know, if you watch me frequently, you already know what it is. It's the Juvia's Place. For some reason, their concealer is just the best for me. I feel like everyone has their different products that work the best for them that they really love in that one it just works amazing for me I love the shade shade 11 I love the coverage I love the finish everything about it I love so if they ever stop selling that I'm gonna be very unhappy because a lot of times I fall in love with products and it's like You know, brands want to discontinue my favorite product. <laughs> How many of the, of us does that happen to? Where you go to, to reorder it and find out, oh, they don't even make it anymore. They stop carrying that. They stop selling that. And it's just like, what? Why? <laughs> it's like, I know somebody was buying it for sure. Because I was. But, yeah, that's what happens. So, okay, so that is good enough. Not too bad. Not too bad. I feel like 
it's decent coverage for under my eyes not sure if um why is it so dark oh i think my screen is just dark but yeah i feel like it's decent coverage for under my eyes my dark circles are looking okay okay so let's move on to powders now the thing with the powders i bought this uh sephora powder what is this one called this is multi or no matte perfection powder foundation and this one is in toffee spice so this one is actually too light you know for me to use all over my face so i decided i'll go ahead and use this for a highlighting powder for under my eyes you know my chin and my forehead and then i have this other powder this is uh which one is this this is the sephora micro smooth powder so i think this is really kind of like more of a finishing powder but i will kind of try and use that all over my face and see how it works now this foundation has more of like a just kind of natural skin finish it's not feeling dewy and it's not feeling super matte so it's kind of like in between so I don't feel like I need a whole lot of powder you know like with some other foundations to kind of set it I don't feel like I need a whole lot of powder so the finishing powder might be good enough since I have to use this lighter powder for just under my eyes and I am applying it to one of my little triangle Oh, that looks a lot darker <gasps> on the skin than it does. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have to uh, abort mission, abort mission. <gasps> this powder is much darker than I thought it was. What? Okay, okay. So maybe it is dark enough for my face? Whoa, that's crazy. Because you see how light it looks in the pan. That does not look like it's going to be dark enough, but honey, when I put it down with that little triangle, y'all, okay, abort mission, abort mission. Okay, so what I need to do <laughs> now, okay, this is like real life, okay, honey, I'm going to go in with a brush, with some of this powder on a brush and see how it looks under this eye. Because typically I use a lighter powder under my eyes. But yo, this powder is darker on my skin than in the pan. Because this powder, I feel like it should have me looking ashy right now. But it doesn't. Okay, so I guess I'm not going to have a, lot of, a lighter powder under my eyes today, y'all. Because I'm about to just brush this powder all over my face. And... See how I feel about it. I mean, so far it's looking really nice. Y'all, I never in a million years looking at this powder in the pan would have thought that it would be my shade. Even though according to the Sephora website, it was my shade and that's why I ordered it. You know, sometimes they be getting it wrong and that stuff be looking crazy. But... I guess they showed me, huh? Because, <laughs> child, it is truly, dang, I'm shocked. I'm shocked, and it actually looks good. What? It actually looks good. I hate that I didn't get to put a lighter powder, you know, in my highlighted areas because, you know, honey, once I went in and pressed that powder under my eye, it wasn't no turning back. I couldn't have a dark eye over here and a light eye over here. <laughs> we got to, uh, we got to commit. But, oh my gosh. And I actually love it. I'm going in really, you know, kind of heavy with the powder just because I want to see what it can do. And it's doing amazing. It's doing amazing. Okay, well, I guess this is, you know, my shade. This Toffee Spices. I guess I stand corrected, honey. I stand corrected. As light as this is, look how it looks on my face. And it's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> 
I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm shocked. Okay, so I'm probably not even going to use the finishing powder because, honey, I got enough powder on. So now let's go into bronze. I'm going to go ahead and use the Sephora bronzer. And I have the sh this is the matte bronzer in the shade Ibiza. Ibiza. So it looks like a nice warm shade. Let's see how this one does, okay? You know, I like to just take my brush and kind of tap it just to kind of see what kind of pigment I'm working with before I just start going in ham with the product. So I just kind of tap it and just gently work it into my face just to kind of see, okay, what's happening. So, okay, so it looks like it's, it's, it's nicely pigmented. It's a nice shade. It's not too dark and it's blending out pretty well. I mean, I don't know if I would say it's my favorite, but it's working. And I'm more of a powder product type of chick. I honestly wish that I was more into creams because when I watch people doing, um, you know, makeup tutorials and stuff and they're using the creams and they're putting all the different blush and highlighter and concealer and bronzer and all that stuff and blending it in and it's nice and dewy and beautiful looking. I'd be like, dang, I wish I was into creams like that, <laughs> but I'm not. I just... I'm not that precise. You know how there's, you know, these uh, makeup artists and they go in and they're like so precise with exactly where they place everything. They use the cute little brush. You know, you see this big brush I'm using for my bronzer and I'm using this same big brush on my nose. Okay, <laughs> so um, clearly I'm not the type to be like super precise and blending out my concealer first and then going in with the blush and then going in with the bronzer that's not me honey i like to just slap this stuff on and pray that it works out <laughs> you know i mean it's my face so if i don't like how it looks i can wipe it off and start all over again you know it's just not that serious to me but this sephora bronzer is looking pretty nice I think it's working out. I mean, just according to what I can see. Y'all might see something else. <laughs> you know, when you're filming a video, sometimes you go back and look and you be like, girl, you look crazy. But I feel like it's looking good. I feel like it's matching. It's working out. The bronzer is doing what it needs to do. So I'm happy about that, okay? So far, we are doing 100% with the Sephora products, I think. Okay, now for blush, I have a couple of blushes that I can choose from. Since I have like this kind of brown and teal situation going on on my eyes, let's see if I can. I'm kind of thinking to go towards like an orangey type blush. Cause I also have this like purpley type blush from Sephora. This purple and pink one is Snapdragon. So if you like that, that's Snapdragon. I'm not gonna use that one today. I think I'm gonna try this one out. And this one is Tiger Lily. So Tiger Lily, very, very pretty. It's kind of like orange and some kind of like warm spicy tone in there. I also have this trio. It's a face palette from Sephora and I've had this forever. I had it in my travel bag for a very long time. This one is called Empower. So it has um, blush and highlight, I believe. Yeah, so it has blush and it has highlight. And you know, this one I never really used. I use this blush and this highlight. So this one is also pretty, you know, probably would look nice with this eye look, but Mmm, ooh. We're gonna go with the orange because I've never tried it, so <laughs> we're gonna try it today. And hope for the best. So for me, ooh, look at that pigment, child. I'm gonna try and like mix these two colors together. So it's not so, so bright. You know, I can kind of tone it down a little bit.
And with blush, I like to kind of tap blush on as well to see the pigment before I kind of go ham with it. Mm, it's pretty. It's not too too it's not too too much. It's settling in on my face nicely and I feel like you know when I go in with my setting spray it's going to settle in nicely so I feel like it comes off like super pigmented at first but I feel like it's one of those that is going to really kind of die down and fade over time you know some blushes are super pigmented and they stay that way but this one I feel like it's gonna kind of die down over time so I just kind of want to give my whole face this like sunburnt look and then I like to go in and just kind of use a larger brush to kind of blend everything together That's pretty. I like that color. I like it a lot. So yeah, I just mixed them together. Very nice. Now for highlighter, I can either use the highlighter that's in this trio or I can use this um, Sephora, what is this called? I'm not putting my glasses on y'all. I'm just, it's Sephora Golden Hour. And this is um, like an illuminator, a liquid highlighter. Comes in a tube like this and you know it's it's very pigmented i actually squeezed out way too much but it's like really really pretty if you can see that there it's like kind of like just a nice it gives a nice glowy sheen on your face so i think i'm gonna go ahead and use this since i went ahead and squeeze some out and i can kind of control it you know with my finger a bit right now and just kind of tap and blend and just kind of let that glow I don't know if you guys can see it it's not super blinding it's not one of those type but it is buildable so very very pretty And with the liquid, of course, you want to use it more so, you know, before powder when you have, uh, maybe you're doing a more dewy type look. But for me, I use it both ways, over powder, under powder. And this one seems to work out fairly well. It doesn't give me too many issues or problems. You know, you can see it. Look at that. Yeah gorgeous but you know it doesn't end up being patchy you know when you use your fingers to just kind of blend it into your skin so just put a little bit of that on the tip on the tip <laughs> yeah there we go I just like to put it there in the center and then on the tip of the nose. And that'll do it for the highlight. Um, you know, I could put some on my brow bone. That would look really nice, but I'm not trying to do the most right now. I'm just trying to, you know, have some fun in makeup with you guys. So that is that i feel like now we can get back to the eyes now i don't have a sephora eyeliner so i'm going to just pull an eyeliner um i would like to use a pretty turquoise shade that would be nice right i don't know if i have this same color turquoise though okay so i pulled a few 
different shades of green. So this one is Aquamarine from Beauty Creations. That's pretty. That actually might be the one. <laughs> uh, this is from ColourPop, I believe. What is this? Crystal Crush. This is more of a blue. Yeah, that's more of a blue. So we're not gonna do Crystal Crush, just no. This one is from LA Girl. This is a shockwave liner, a neon liner in the shade Fresh. So that's this one, this light one here. That one will work too, actually. And then last but not least, I have another color pop and this one is called Cat Suit. <laughs> Cat suit. Okay, so let's do cat suit right here. Cat suit is very pretty. If I wanted to do like a darker eyeliner, hmm. Cat suit. No, let's go bright. <laughs> let's go bright. So I think I'm going to do the first one, the Beauty Creations one, okay? I'm going to sharpen it because it looked like it might have been a little bit too. low so i'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line with that yeah i think that's a pretty good pretty good match with that teal and making it pop yep okay so now we're going to smoke out I'm going to go back in with the brown and the black that I used. Okay, so I'm going to go back into that black from my Pro Palette. You know, you guys can, if you want to recreate this look, you can use a black from any palette of your choosing. And I'm going to just gently, because I don't want it to be too too smoky but I do want it to be dark enough to where that eyeliner pops right so and I don't think I'm going to do any black eyeliner today so I'm just going to try and make that bottom connect with the top before I put my lashes on so now I'm going back in with the brown from this palette and I'm just going to apply some to my brush and use that to just gently smoke that black out a little bit so it's not so harsh. And this brown is fairly dark so it's not like it's a super light color. It's fairly dark. But on my skin tone it's okay, you know, to use that to smoke out the black. And I just want to make this corner a little more put together, you know, just a little bit more cohesive. So with this eyeshadow palette, honestly, I would say it's really just like four shades. I would say, you know, five, I guess, you know, including one of the browns. But it's just like three shimmers in that brightening shade along with... Um, you know those browns that look the same but honestly for me it's just like all three of those browns it's just like one shade now i'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes because i want to do that before my inner corner pop um just in case you know it gets kind of crazy i have these sephora lashes in the style fierce so that's what they look like they're really cute, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these on right quick, and then we'll come back and do our inner corner pop and our lips, and we'll be done. Okay, you guys, so these lashes gave me a run for my money. Some days it's like so easy for me to put lashes on. It's just like bloop, bloop, and other days it's just like fighting. The glue is going crazy. Everything's looking wild, so yeah, I had a little, <laughs> a little run for my money with these lashes today, so don't judge me okay don't judge me i know they're not perfect i put on a little bit of eyeliner too just to kind of help with that lash line but 
this hair is just doing whatever right now but okay this is where we are so let's go ahead and do um, an inner corner pop so we can do some mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and take this light matte shade right here and just tap a little bit of that in my inner corner just so that I can have a little bit of brightening um, I don't know how bright it's gonna be because it doesn't really look all that bright to be honest with you I think some of the shades in this palette you know they could have made some better choices just for a more um, universal you know eye palette for people of different shades and colors to use because although I'm loving this eye look like without the black I definitely wouldn't have appreciated it as much so so yeah we're just gonna go in with this matte shade and just add a little bit of brightening in this corner as much as I possibly can because like I said it's really more so a tan a white would really pop but this is good enough for today so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in so it looks okay all right that's not too bad a little bit of brightening and let's go ahead and add some mascara so I have this Sephora Big By Definition Waterproof Mascara. Let's see how this does. Even though I have falsies on, I still need to kind of blend my lashes. Y'all have to excuse this rat's nest. <laughs> I have to uh, do my hair, but I've just been so lazy with, you know, redoing it. But yeah, this weekend I need to do something. So I'm just going to, oh, seems like a nice mascara, even though, you know, I'm really just using it to kind of blend my lashes in with the falsies. I'm going to go ahead and put some on my lower lashes as well. don't have much lashes as it is so I just kind of like run it across my lashes just so I can get some of the product on there and then just kind of run it through so yeah I'm part of the baby lash gang hmm. but this mascara is pretty decent I will say that I've definitely used worse <laughs> so it's definitely a thicker consistency so I don't mind that at all because it's like it grabs onto my little lashes easier it makes them a bit thicker okay so finally to the lips and so i'm gonna go in with my favorite lip liner from sephora in the shade molasses and i'm really kind of like irritated right now because it is sold out <laughs> during the sale it's not available so i don't know if they did that on purpose so you can't buy it during the sale or if it in fact is actually sold out but honey they must have knew i was gonna stock up Cause this is the main thing that I buy during the sale is the Sephora Molasses Lip Liner. It's so smooth and creamy and I just, I love the shade of it. Very, very nice. Okay, and so I'm going to go on top of that with this glossed lip gloss from Sephora. This is really, really nice. What shade is this, y'all? Confident. <laughs> this is in the shade Confident. So very, very pretty shade. Mm. Very, very nice. I wish the applicator was a little bit bigger.
but definitely gives you enough product even with the small applicator very very nice so that's that lastly we're going to go in with the sephora setting spray this is sephora makeup setting spray <laughs> very generic very basic name that's what it is it's my first time using it oh it's a very nice mist hold on now Ooh. And yes, I am a face soaker because <laughs> I like for my makeup to really get wet and really settle into my skin. I don't like a, you know, dry powdery face. So. Okay, you guys, so this is it. You guys let me know what you think about these Sephora products. Honestly, I feel like this is a pretty successful Sephora face. I really have no complaints about any of the products. I mean, the lashes gave me a little bit of a fight, but honestly, I think that's because I need some new glue. <laughs> but as far as the eyeshadow goes, um, the eyeshadow blends very nicely. It's nicely pigmented. Um, you know, I wish the palette had a little more variation, but other than that, I feel like it's really created a very, very pretty look. For the complexion, the foundation, very, very nice, you guys. Very, very nice. The bronzer, the blush, the highlight, even the lip liner and lip gloss. I'm very pleased, okay? Very pleased with this Sephora face. So I will have all the products listed down below in the description box. If you, you know, want to purchase any of these items during the sale, because I know the Sephora items are like 30% off. Um, so you might want to try some out. But yeah, I'm liking it. Okay, I might have to reach for my Sephora products a little bit more often. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you gathered your makeup and sat down and just put it on with me. And now... We both look cute, okay? <laughs> so, I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!